story has to do with my junior year of high school. So in my junior year of high school, my theater <coughs> teacher chose the show Seussical the Musical. Mm -hmm. I don't know if many of you know it, but I was psyched. Because there was a character of Jojo, which is a little boy, but we didn't have an abundance of boys, so my teacher was going to make it a little girl. You know, finally my height could be used to my advantage, besides like hide and seek. <laughs> so I prepared all my lines and memorized the songs. I got okay. all my movements down pat, and I was ready to go. I auditioned, and it paid off. I made it to callback. However, callbacks lasted for three arduous days. I remember being in the airport on my way home from Mexico, and I got a text from my friend saying, I didn't get the part. Mm. I was pretty much devastated, started bawling in the airport. My face was bright red. I was causing a huge scene, but whatever. It was all about me at that time, so my parents dealt with it. <laughs> I go to school the next day, and I check the cast list just to make sure my friend wasn't like playing some practical joke on me. Sure enough, they weren't. I didn't get the part. I didn't even get understudy for that part. I went home that night, and I blasted Phantom of the Opera, because it's like really dark and dreary, and I just sulked. <laughs> but after a few days, I dusted myself off, and I merged myself in the role I did get, and I got the part of Thing One. Now, <laughs> Thing One is in every single scene and has bright blue hair. The wig was super itchy, but it set me apart from the rest <clears> of the cast, so, you know, I was happy with that. <laughs> now, Thing One is this cute, mischievous, energetic character, kind of like myself, mm. but <laughs> it's mute. So I had to convey everything through my emotions and um, facial expressions. Now, on stage, everything has to be done over the top because you have to see it from afar. So while on stage, I would think of like real life experiences and try to apply my emotions to it to make sure I looked really real. And it really worked, because after the show, everyone came up to me and commended me for the job I had done. Mm. And I was really proud of myself that I persevered over it. Now, theater has taught me a lot of valuable life lessons that you can really apply to the everyday drama of life. It's taught me the value of teamwork mm -hmm. and the need to be ready to go on no matter what. It's also taught me that I need to be able to take risks and to laugh at myself. But most importantly, it taught me not to let disappointment stand in the way of something I really love to do. You know, experiencing such sadness has helped me become a better person and a stronger actor. And I like this really good quote by Lionel Barrymore. The sorrows of life are the joys of art. And it really holds true to most things. Mm. And a little footnote to this story. Um, I actually used this story for my college essay, and it got me into all my colleges, so I think some people <laughs> like see my point of view. Nice. <laughs>